right? And my hands have not been looking chapped and old and wrinkly. <laughs> so I just have to say that this cream, if you don't pick any cream here, this cream, pick it up. This is very, very moisturizing on the skin. and thank you so much for coming back to watch my videos if you're new here welcome to my channel i make fashion videos and from now on more skincare videos now when i started blogging i really wanted to blog about skincare and fashion i just didn't couldn't find a way to merge the two together but now i feel like i can walk it in somewhere so today's video is going to be a haul i picked up some well, drugstore products. I classify them as drugstore. I don't know what your definition of drugstore is, but my definition of drugstore is where I bought them and the price as compared to the more luxury um, brands. Now, just for a little background, I am a 31 year old woman. I am oily combination skin, so I do get dry around the outer perimeter of my face, and I also um, get sometimes get a little bit um, scaly. I wouldn't say scaly, but it's the, the dryness kind of bothers me. It looks like my skin is breaking or something. Touching my skin can be very, very annoying, especially in the winter period. So, uh, these are one of my concerns. So because I'm oily, I can tend to have. Uh, a lot of like you can obviously see that my pores are enlarged especially around the middle of my face right here and around my forehead but mostly in the middle of my face i wouldn't say i don't break out that much i only have hormonal breakouts like after my period or when i'm really really stressed but i wouldn't say that i break out that much so that is not exactly one of my top concerns when i'm looking for skincare so I'm just giving you that reference of my skin just in case so you can understand why some of these products, uh, I chose to pick some of those products. But I love this brand. One, because most of their products are very, very specific. They target specific skin concerns and that's one of the things I love about it. They're not just throwing out uh, products. When you go on the website, you can see for every skincare um, issue, you can find where you fit in and what product to pick up. And that's one of the things I love. So the first one is the Psychoplast Bomay B5. This is a soothing repairing balm. It is marketed actually that you can use it on your face and your body. You can use it for babies you can use it for adults this has two ingredients in this that make sense because it has uh, because it's a soothing and repairing balm it has the panthenol 5% and the medica side now the panthenol 5% is like a derivative the panthenol is a derivative of vitamin b5 so it repairs your skin barrier it soothes your skin it soothes red skin scaly skin dry skin uh, Madica Soulside also helps to soothe scaling skin, it helps to smooth out your skin and it also helps to soothe redness on the skin so it makes sense that these two ingredients are like the the two ingredients that they wanted us to really see that is the base of this product and so far honestly um this product actually has been doing well the only problem i have with it is that it can tend to leave a white film on your skin when you when you rub this on your skin you will get the moisturizing effect but the film when you apply it's my main problem so if you want to apply this during the day I wouldn't say apply this during the day. I use this mainly at night because you're going to bed anyway. So why do you care if it, anything is leaving a white film on your skin? Unless of course you're going to bed today. And so you want to look your best, but this, <laughs> this is going to leave a, like a film on your face. The second product is actually the same, uh, kind of the same base product, but this one is a day cream and it's a, an SPS 50. Now this is the, the funny thing about this one. Usually when you have a cream or a product that has SPF in it, it can tend to leave a white film. A lot of SPF product, a lot of sunscreen tend to leave a white film on your face but this one doesn't but after a while when you touch your face it almost feels like you it becomes um it peels as if it's peeling like um not your skin peeling but the cream it's almost like if when it dries down 
it you can literally kind of peel it out if you rub up and down so that's one thing i'm not exactly a fan of you should not be touching your face during the day anyway so you probably won't even notice that it's actually like scaling off this is the pure vitamin c serum and this is the higher higher serum b5 this is basically the hyaluronic acid serum now let's start with the vitamin c it's an antioxidant it also helps with uh, clearing of mass if you have hyperpigmentation vitamin C is your best friend it will slowly but surely fade hyperpigmentation because vitamin C will impede uh, kind of the production of melanin so it also it helps with uh, hyperpigmentation it repairs your skin it protects your skin from like the daily pollution in the air and everything so this is one thing that you would want to add to your skincare routine this one is a 10 percent they call it the c10 so it's a 10 percent uh, vitamin c serum it is quite a thick serum it is not your everyday like really thin serum like i would say compared to the drunk elephant uh, vitamin c serum this is quite a thick one but the one thing about this is that it absorbs into your skin and it leaves this really really beautiful glow to your skin when you apply it almost immediately it doesn't dry down and peel like become scaly on your skin it just goes into your skin and just does what it needs to be doing but your skin feels moisturized that's one of the first things that i noticed about this serum it works really good with your other skincare products and it just um, sinks in really beautifully it doesn't dry out your skin it actually makes your skin feel like your skin is moisturized now the hyaluronic acid uh, one is also the same texture as the, as the vitamin C, only a little bit more clearer than the vitamin C. It also is a very, very moisturizing serum. It feels moisturizing. It makes your skin look like you just kind of pumped your skin with moisture. And that's the thing about it. So, that's one thing i love about this immediately you apply that's my like my first impression when i apply this i apply this morning and night and i especially love to apply this in the morning because it gives when i'm, I'm not wearing makeup every day i wear makeup only when i have to film really especially now that we're on lockdown and there's nowhere to go i only wear makeup when i have to film or something so um, every day if I have to leave the house this thing is very very good for kind of giving your skin that plum and a life look Hyaluronic acid actually helps you to keep the moisture that is already in your skin and also helps to trap moisture from the environment and kind of uh, trap it into your skin and keep it Moisturized so honestly, I would say this serum so far does that for me the next uh, La Roche Posay actually the last product is this one that I'm very very impressed with actually i've been obsessed with this lip balm it is also part of the psychoplast line it is the psychoplast um Bome barrier repairing balm it is uh, for the lip really it has the panthenol in it and also it has it says mp lipids now i forgot to check what the mp lipids is but you can check it <laughs> but anyway this is very very good it moisturizes your lip not only does it moisturize your lip like when you apply it on the lip it seems like it's sinking into your lip but you can feel that you have something on your lip but not in a very uncomfortable way it doesn't leave that annoying shiny look of lip gloss on your lip now I have the I have other lip balms and you apply it and it just feels like something is on your lip but it's not sinking in this one repairs your skin my, your lips my lips have not been chappy since i started using this so really if anything pick up this cream this um, lip balm the next product is actually from CeraVe this one is i don't know why my camera is not picking up like really fast but this is their CeraVe moisturizing cream for dry to very dry skin CeraVe is also another drugstore product that I love I love their lines also because they also have very specific like product they do it for specific skin um, skin issues that this product it moisturizes and helps to restore the protective skin barrier of the face and body with three essential ceramides and hyaluronic acid. The ceramides help create a barrier to prevent permeability. It locks moisture into your skin, which helps prevent dryness and irritation. It may also help pro protect your epidermis from environmental damage, and these benefits may have anti-aging effects. 
so I get that now okay now from the first even though this is not a review this is like a haul just showing you what I picked up I just have to say that this cream if you don't pick any cream here this cream pick it up this is very very moisturizing on the skin i wake up and i touch my face the first time and my face was feeling like it was still moisturized and i was like this is the only thing different in my skincare right now and this has to be the reason and this you can also apply on your body and you can apply on your face i sometimes apply this on my hands and i just look at it it's just like this this is one of the things this is it's very very thick I apply this on my hands like a hand cream or in the morning when I finish or at night when I rub it on my face I apply it on my hands like the remnants on my hands and kind of to keep my hands moisturized and my hands have not been looking chapped and old and wrinkly <laughs> or old and wrinkly at all for a very very long time and I owe it to this cream this cream is amazing I have to say this is amazing I I have oily skin I know but I, I told you I get so dry at the outer perimeter of my face and I haven't had that issue since I started using this cream one thing that I would say that I love even more about this skin this uh, cream is that it does not leave a white cast on your face I had to refill, refill my or the ordinary salicylic acid mask and I did because I really love this um, they are sold out now again but every time that they are in stock I'm always looking and I just have to grab one and have one at the back burner because I never want to sell out if you've ever used salicylic acid you know how good this is for your skin but if you haven't I think you should actually include this in your skincare routine salicylic acid has been so good to me it helps to penetrate into not only does it exfoliate the top layer of your skin it also helps to unclog your pores especially when you are oily like me it helps to unclog your pores and just kind of remove the debris from your pores so that you're not breaking out and also just clear out your skin and just makes your skin even brighter uh, another thing that i had to pick up is the mario bidesco facial spray with alloy and sage and orange blossom i used to pick up the um what do you call it the rose water one but i when i got to the store they only had it in the big um size and it was too expensive so i just picked up the small one in this one but it's still the same idea and everything it's just a very it's just kind of a soothing and calming spray for your skin it just kind of soothes and i like to spray this after i make up it's like my setting spray really honestly and i like to also spray this when i i finish my skincare routine i like to spray especially after my oils to kind of um lock in the oils on my skin it just helps it just feels really good when i do that and my skin feels really really moisturized and just kind of keeps everything in place now the last two things i got are from the are from lush this um face mask this one is the mask of magnanimity if you followed me on instagram for a very long time you know that this mask is something that i always always talk about from the beginning when i used to have a blog I wasn't doing videos i was posting on blogs i have written about this a lot i have raved about the oops i've raved about this a lot so it's always nice when i'm able to refill i just never want to run out because it's one of the few masks that i feel like just agrees with my skin and does what it says it's gonna do without you know doing what i didn't send it to do okay and i just buy it for the detoxification of the curling and also for the fact that uh, it moisturizes and soothes my skin and kind of calms my skin down and gives my skin a really really lovely feel and smooth feel I noticed that when I used it for example if I'm going out at night and I don't want to do too much on my skin so I don't upset my skin I will apply only this mask on my skin and leave it on and then um, gently wash it off with like lukewarm water and my skin looks moisturized feels moisturized and ready for me to put on my makeup and just it just feels good and sometimes I use it after I've worn my makeup when I come back from outing with my friends I use it to detox and to kind of cleanse my skin and all that so it's a very very good mask I really recommend it for everyone now this one is a new mask for me a new one I've never used it but she told me that it was actually a new a new one this is the sleep beauty sleep mask uh they have a cream called beauty sleep and they decided to make a mask according to them at the store 
this has a very very nice fragrance if you don't like fragrance you might not like this but because of all the oils in this and the honey and the glycerin and everything this is very very moisturizing and i've used it once or twice to fall as moisturizing i like to use it in the mornings when i wake up and i feel like my skin needs a little bit of wake up i like to use this in the morning for to moisturize my skin now i'm going to come back and do like an updated in-depth review of each of these products so that i can tell you how i feel about them what they do if i would recommend them again after using them and yeah if you like this video and if you like videos like this please let me know in the comment section let me know any of these products that you've used and how you feel about them and any brand that you would want me to try please let me know in the comment section and this is the end of this video and i will see you in my next video thank you for watching and bye